Hey Pax Wolf here, I'm back with a first of the view video and this is about the I think it's pronounced Perix M MX2000 gaming mouse I probably should pronounce that wrong, there'll be text or something and the video title but this is just a review about this mouse and I'm going to switch hands with my camera and as you can tell instantly it's a palm grip mouse you cannot actually grip this with a, well you can grip with a core grip, but it's a bit awkward but for those of you um, PC gamers, you know palm grip basically means you're holding it with your, your palm basically like that. Um, and this is a really comfortable mouse to use because nice little movement like that. I haven't got much space here in my table but it works, so it's all good. And as you can tell, it's got a little light up here and that's in DPI, I think it's like there. Um, I've got it set on 4000 at the moment but it can get to 5000, I'll tell you about it in a second. And it's got a little button to the side here, hit right there. That changes the colour of this. There's more in the settings thing, I'll show you later, which comes to the mouse. But it's very convenient to hit. I do sometimes hit this playing game, because like this, my ring finger is literally on it. Like, right there. It's literally on that. Sometimes I hit it, but obviously you can tell it doesn't really affect you when you're playing, because it's covered up. And the scroll wheel, obviously, right here, so it's easy to hit. It's got a nice little... Nice little clicking sound, so you can tell when you're doing it, really. And also, it has a left and right click, like that. You can push it left and right. You can set that to do something. With me, I've got them backward free to set them um, to throw a grenade if I push it left. And also, it's got a little DPI button here if you want to quickly change the DPI up or down. Um, I never actually use that. Be careful if you want. For those who don't know what DPI means, it's dots per an inch. It basically means how smoothly it goes across the screen. And 4000 is the best to have it on this mouse. Um, and the reason I don't have something 5000 is because it actually starts having slight mouse lag when you hit it at 5000, which is the maximum it can do. It starts like having a bit of delay and sometimes jutters when it's moving across the screen. It's just a little thing about this. So if you're looking for something like a, a really high DPI mouse, 4000 is the best it will go to. Well, it'll still stay accurate. So, yeah. And also, just so you know, this is a pretretty much a budget gaming mouse. It's I got it for £22, which I think is about $28, $29 or something in American. But um, it's a lot cheaper than things like the Death Adder, which is £60. Um, so yeah, it's quite good like that. And you've probably noticed these buttons on the side by now. These are pretty much only ever used for um, browsing on the internet. This button here, the, bu um, the one at the back, is a back button. That's forward. And this one here is a double click button. You press it and it instantly double clicks like this. These two. Um, and that's, you can once again use it for games, but I don't, or I'll use this for changing weapons sometimes. Um, the clicks itself are very simple, you don't have to press very hard, it's very light, has a nice little clicking sound so you can easily tell when you're doing it, and it get, oh, if you want a silent mouse, this isn't the best one, because it still is about that loud, and I've had it for uh, three or four months now. Okay, so... Basically, it's a very good mouse for its price, very decent, and it's got a lot of customizable options. It works on obviously Windows. <laughs> Why did I say that? A Windows computer, sort of thing. Whatever, and its wire, as you can probably tell, is slightly. Can you tell? However, it's a slightly different material to normal wire. It's sort of fabricated. It's a bit rope, sort of like type of thing. It's the best I can explain. It's a little bit like a rope, and I've got it plugged in there. It's got a long wire, so. Um, you can't really see from their side, but it's got a really long wire, and so if you somehow, for some reason, sit like a meter back from your computer or something, it's very good in that um, retrospect. Never said that word before. Oh well. Um, okay, so now, as you can tell at the bottom, it hasn't actually, you can't actually see the laser, it's like never a light there, but it is working. Um, can you see me there? Where's my mouse pointer? There it is. So you can see it moves on like that. So it's definitely working. There's nothing there. It's a laser, I can tell. And here, I don't know why this is. I've noticed. Oh, yeah, it's weights in there. It's got a little custom weight. So if you find this mouse too heavy or too light, you can add a little bit of weight into there by unclicking this and putting it in. Um, I find that it's fine. It's default. It doesn't. It's very light, so it's very good for movement and stuff. And yeah, it. But it's only if you like. If you want to be advanced and suddenly start changing the weights and stuff for your mouse. But all in all, appearance wise, very good. It's a big mouse, so it's good for palm grip. Um, it's got a lot of custom options, got nice things. The DPI is not the most reliable, but it's very good. 
And now I'm going to show you a program that comes over to show you more customizable options. I'll see you in a second, Pack. Okay, Pack, now that I'm back onto this, this is the program it comes with once you've plugged in. And it has all the main settings here, like you can change the button, so you can make the double click button, which I don't use much, into something like the click, middle mouse button, menu, double click, forward, backwards, basic, which is cut, copy, paste, that sort of thing. And then advanced, so you can make it so it changes those sort of stuff. Media keys, if you listen to music and things. And macros, single key, and you can disable it entirely. All these buttons can be customised to do that sort of thing, and it's actually pretty helpful. Um, if you like, don't know using keys or something, it's quite helpful to rearrange those things. So it's a very good feature for this mouse, especially because it's how cheap it is. Okay, and now for these buttons here, game profiles. It has four different pro fa sorry, five different profiles to save different um, settings. So say you wanted these buttons, how it is for playing a game. Like, um, so you, sort of, you muck about some of the buttons playing a game, like, oh, so you'll do one fires, one fires grenade, for example. But you don't want f them doing annoying things like that, um, normally. Then you can just change the profile, like, load it up. Like, I, sh I have these two. But you load it up, and then the seconds will be different. Although that's the one I've already got on, so, not a good example. Anyway, advanced settings. This has mouse speed, which is literally how fast it goes. Enhanced pointer precision doesn't really do that much. Don't worry about that. Just sort it out to what feels nice. The mouse scroll speed is how fast it scrolls when you use the scroll wheel. It's nothing amazing, but it's nice. It's nice to have sometimes. Just if you want to have it for scroll fast, just chuck it to 100. But I usually have it free. Um, and one screen at a time. Like if you're on Word, say you got like 50 50 page Word document. If you click that and scroll the mouse wheel down, it'll only go one page at a time. It'll never scroll and scroll down like ten pages at once if you got it high up. The double click speed is if you've got a double click button, it just makes it click faster. Say you want to cheat on a game and have a pistol fully auto, you turn it to one. Although you can't really do that. I've tried it to be honest. Um, sensitivity, that literally speaks for itself. That's kind of obvious what it is. Just the sensitivity of the mouse. The polling rate. This is quite important with a gaming mouse. If you see a gaming mouse with 250 hertz, it's not recommended. What you really want is a thousand, and that's what this mouse can do. It basically smooths it out when you're moving it around, smooths out the movement of the mouse itself. So it's very good to have a thousand hertz mouse, and it's extremely good depending on how cheap this mouse was. And here's the DPI setting to dots per inch. As you can tell, it's quite smooth. No, I'm, I'm not really trying, but it's quite smooth going around the screen. If you can see the mouse, I hope you can. If you can't, then apologies. But it can go from 500 to 5000. This is pretty good because 500 is all blah, blah, blah. but 5000 is a bit glitchy. So I leave it on 4000. That's the best for first person choosers, I'd say, with this mouse. And but it completely depends on personal preference. I know one person who plays on 1000 DPI, but I don't know how he does that and gets long range shots. But just how he plays. Color settings. This is literally just the color of the button. Like if I press that. You can see all these things on here, they will they change. Um, it changes the mouth once you press apply, but don't worry about that. And this is just how bright the, how bright it is, and how much it pulses. I haven't steady, so it doesn't pulse at all, but you can have it so it pulses, it just looks cool. And that's all of the things that this mouse can do. It's a very good mouse for how much it is. I, I would highly recommend it. I've been using it for quite a few months, and it's still going strong, no problems at all, apart from the 5000 DPI thing. But it's a very good mouse for its price. I'll leave a link in the description for it in the Amazon place I bought it from. So I hope this helped you. And then if you want, if you felt well, were you planning to buy this mouse but weren't sure about it, I hope this review, review, review helped. If you've got any questions or I missed something or you'd like to know something in more detail, put it in the comments and I'll reply as soon as I possibly can. So once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, Pack. Wolf out.